This is the Record Power RPMS router table. Um, sliding table, cast iron bed, fence that's all fully adjustable, moves forwards and backwards, the whole thing moves forwards, but good dust extraction. Um, and it tilts, the top tilts. I'll do that in a sec. Your, your plugs go in the back of there. Your plug socket for your router goes in there. This plugs in so that you've got a dedicated on and off switch. So that's useful. As I say, this is a sliding table so you can just tighten this up, move that out the way. The later models have gas struts, but it lifts up pretty easy. It's not too much trouble. Um, connection underneath is solid as a rock so let me see if I can show you underneath uh, you put your router let me lift it up so you come around this side around the back and you lift it under here I think the later models have got handles this hasn't got handles oh it looks like there's something here looks like there was something so something could go there to make a handle but basically you get underneath there you lift it up and these locate which is great your router sits there four very hefty brackets in a slotted cast iron containment method of containing this is this rings are interchangeable so that can come out for smaller cutters uh, and then basically you bolt that up long thread on there which is great um, other stuff going on. I don't know what that's for. Oh, that's something to do with the track sliding track. Okay, there's a plate there holding those two pieces of aluminium together. That's good. These are these are adjustable. These are where it sits down when you close it. Let's close it. It is good. It is heavy duty. It's great. So if you need a router table and you need one quite often, it's great to set this up. You've got this fence that you can have the sliding table working. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, there you go. Sliding table working. Does need cleaning out. But that goes that way and that way. That's why this goes. So this just goes up out the way. There you go. So that should now go. There you go, it does. Set that up square. You can move this all around. Slide this over. So this can slide up to there for your pieces. Uh, hold down. I don't even know why that you would want to hold down. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, I get it. So to hold it down. Anyhow, to hold it down as you're using the sliding fence. It's heavy duty. It's heavy duty, it's great, it's well made, and uh, I just don't use it. I just don't use it enough. My work isn't the sort of work. So we've got, what, we've got 2005, the model number, record power, as I say, 240 volt. It was pat tested in 2014, it hasn't been used since then. Uh, yeah, it's great. All the adjustables. I think there's two pieces missing off here for fence. There's just like some metal, thin metal bits that go on there. I haven't got those. I don't know where they are. Um, probably weren't with it when I bought it because I bought it second hand. But, you know, it wouldn't take much to give them a ring. You can get those to parts. Basically, they come down and hold. They're sprung loaded. They go off that way. So as you push a piece of wood through, it can't spring back. It can't kick back a piece of um a piece of work what i do like is the fact that they've they've actually put these on um oh, well that's making so much noise they've actually put these on adjustables so that you can actually adjust these two fences but there is let me show you but there is this somebody made somebody went to the trouble of making this fence which can screw onto there so there's an extra fence with it and I've got instructions, instruction manual there, and it's probably got the parts list in the back as well because record a bit further like that. There you go, all the parts list. So if you need any parts, you can go through this. Don't know where those springs are, but 
you know what, give them a ring, they'll sort you out. So yeah, manual. I, do, I think that's off somebody else's router. That can, you can have that if you want it. Auxiliary fence, which is great. And, uh, but it's too big for me, I'm gonna sell it. 